Welcome. In this video I want to talk about using an HDMI USB video capture card with a Raspberry Pi 4. So I'll put a link in the description to the adapter I'm using on eBay and Amazon and if you use those links it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to the Raspberry Pi I'm using. So I want to say before we get too far into this that I don't have this figured out yet. I'm just sharing my progress. So I do like to figure things out usually before I make a video but I don't know how much more time I want to spend on this so I'll at least put this out there and people can try and work from it. And if I figure something out in the future I can make a new video or if anyone watching this figures anything out to improve this then you can drop a comment below on the changes that need to be made. So I have a Raspberry Pi 4 here with 4 gigabytes of RAM and I have the HDMI video capture plugged into it and I have it hooked up to a Nintendo Classic HDMI out. So I'm going to reference things on the command line and there's a website here and I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll place this stuff on there so you don't have to copy it from the screen. So FFmpeg has this capture webcam page and it tells you how to find your video devices using V4L and already I can't remember if I installed that so I'll just check real quick. I'll say dpkg space dash L pipe grep V4L. So I have this V4L utils, and I can't remember if that was default or not, but you can type sudo space app space install space V4L dash utils, and that will install video for Linux. I'll clear my screen there. So once you have that in place, you can run this command, list devices, and we're interested in the second part here. It says USB video, and we want slash dev slash video zero. So I don't know what video one is, but we want video zero. So then we can run this next command here, to tell us the video modes. And if we look down here at the bottom, it says we have motion JPEG and YUYV, and it has like 1080p, has a bunch of different modes down here. You can read through them. And if you go to my AV playlist in the description, you can find a video I did just on the modes that this adapter supports. So I'll be referencing some of these things in the next few commands, but then the other thing we want to do is figure out how to get sound in. So if we type A record, space dash lowercase l, we'll see we have list of capture devices, and we have video, USB video, and it says it's card two, and then subdevice zero, so we have two, zero. And then we can run the same command with a capital L, and we have it in a different form here, and this is the one I'm actually using here, it's plug hw colon card equals video comma dev equals zero. So I'll exit this. So this could be different on your system, I'm guessing if you have a plain Raspberry Pi and you just plug in this capture card, it will look the same. If you have a webcam or something else plugged in, you may have multiple video devices and you'll have to figure out which one you need to look at. So I'll exit here. So the first thing I'm going to show is showing video on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I have a command here and I say FF play and then dash F, this is the format, is video for Linux 2, and that's the V4L. And then the input format is MJPEG, video size is 1920 by 1080, and the frame rate is 30, and the input is dev video zero. So I'll turn on the Nintendo, I'll hit enter, and here the screen has come up. Interesting. Okay, so, oh, this makes sense. So I'm recording this at 720p, and when it came up, this was actually a 1080p video, and it's not displaying on this monitor, so if I hit F, it'll just make it full screen. So I can go into here, but you're not hearing any sound, and actually I don't know if the sound would come through here the way I'm capturing this, but I can hit Q to quit this. So I wasn't able to get sound using the FF play command, and I tried FFmpeg, and I tried to take that, put the sound in with the video, and then pipe it to FF play, and couldn't get that to work, but I did find that I could get audio working if I ran a separate FF play command. So down here we have FF play dash F space ALSA space dash I, and then we have that plug HW colon card equals video comma dev equals zero. So if I run that ahead of time, and I run the video one, so that's gonna bring up, this black screen is the audio, it brings up this screen, and I'll run this, and I'll hit F, and I'll hit play, And here we have audio. So I have quite a bit of delay here, latency, when I'm playing this. So it's really hard to play. So I'll pause that. So I'll hit Q. I'll go to my audio, I'll hit Q there too. So I have another option to do that, and that is M player. So M player, we have a similar setup as FFmpeg. We have V4L2. We have the width is 1920 by 1080. Device is dev zero and FPS is 30. So we see the width and height is 1080p. I'll hit enter here. Okay, and I'll bring the audio back up too. And we see here, this is not showing at 1080p. So I'm not completely sure why that is. If we go up here, 
we see it says 640 by 480. Now this isn't too bad for a Nintendo Classic because it was made for a standard definition television and I tried to hook up my laptop to this and display 1080p and that didn't work either but I've hooked up another video device it was a Fire TV or something and it did work so I don't know why this is 640 by 480 but as far as latency goes it's actually better to probably use a smaller resolution so I can click on this mplayer screen oh and you need to install mplayer you want to do sudo apt install mplayer and it'll do full screen here and I can play this and we're, we have this little square here but there is lower latency so you can see I can play this a little easier I'm less likely to run into people although I'm not great at this in the first place and now Mario just kind of blanked out for a second I'm not sure what caused that but that kind of makes it difficult to play too so if you want to display an HDMI device you can use mplayer and FF Play at the same time, one displaying video, the other displaying audio. Now for capture, I haven't gotten this working very well. So let me bring up mPlayer, see where I'm at in the game. Okay, I'll just stay right there. So if I open up FF Play here and open up the audio one down below, I'll hit Control A to take me to the beginning of this line and I'll change this to FF MPEG. Type Control E to go to the end again, and then I'll paste on the sound here at the end. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it on, okay? So now we're saying the video input is V4L2 and the audio input is ALSA, and then I need to have an output so I could say vid.mp4. So I'll say overwrite, okay? So now I will just move back and forth on the controller, you can't see it obviously, and I'll jump up and down a little bit and I'll pause it, okay? I'll quit this, and I'll type ffplay vid.mp4. So there was a little blip of audio there. Let's see if the video works at all. Okay, so I'm going back and forth. And I thought I jumped up and down. Well, the timer stopped. Maybe that's after I paused it. But you see, this doesn't work very well. Okay. So the next thing I tried was I did this command. And I said dash codec space copy space, and then I said vid.avi. AVI is kind of a container. So we have MJPEG video, and the audio is uh, PCM or something like that. What do we have for audio here? It's PCM. So my hope was with vid.avi, it would put it in this container. So we will try that. I'll get that going, I'll say yes. And then I will unpause, I'll go back and forth a little bit, I'll jump. Pause it again, and now hit Q. So now I can type ffplay vid.avi. We heard a little audio. You can see the video. Okay, so I died there, so I'll hit quit. So now what I'll do is I'll type ffmpeg space dash i space vid.avi space vid.mp4. I'll hit enter, I'll say overwrite, I'll say yes. So this will take a minute. This is encoding it from AVI to MP4. And the thought here is that by saving it as an AVI with the codec equal copy, it means we're copying those raw streams into the AVI, so we're not doing a lot of processing there. Then after we've saved it, we're going to convert it to MP4 so we can play it back better. Okay, so that's finished. I'll type ffplay vid.mp4. Okay, and here we have the video playing back. We still don't have the audio. So I've had some times where the audio kind of works and other times it doesn't. So this is where I'm kind of left off. So I don't have this working yet completely. Ideally, it would be nice to run a command like this and save the audio and video out. Now you can't preview it while you're recording it with this command. I don't know if this Raspberry Pi can do that with any software. So in this case, it would probably be best to get an HDMI splitter so I can split the input between the Raspberry Pi and a monitor, so I can still see what I'm doing. And then I don't have to deal with latency of the Raspberry Pi or anything. So I am trying to record 1080p here. I could drop that down and it might work a little bit better. I could drop it to 720p, 640 by 480, things like that. 
So I think some of these settings could be tweaked enough to get this to work, but I'm not completely sure. I'm still working on it, at least as of now I am. But if anyone has any knowledge of how to maybe get this to work, if you're really good with the ALSA software, or if maybe there's other audio uh, input that we could use that would work better than this, you know, drop a comment below. I'd be very interested in that. I think it could be very cool if I could get a Raspberry Pi to input HDMI, and then if I went to screen capture my Mac or my PC, I could just drop the Raspberry Pi next to it, hook it up, and away I go. So that's all for this video. If you do have any questions about this, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.